uh, like I said, I was, uh, we're really happy to be here at the uh, Sun Bowl. Our guys are practicing hard. They're enjoying themselves. The hospitality has been great. Uh, I've never been to the Sun Bowl. Heard a lot of great things about it. And it's, it's, it's holding up to everything that I heard about it. So I'm um, really looking forward to the game on Tuesday versus a great uh, Arizona State team. They do a good job. And, uh, and our guys will be ready and prepared. Well, you know, I'm looking forward to. I heard tonight we're going to a place where we get a steak as big as our heads. So I'm, I'm a steak eater. So I'm looking forward to that. Coach, obviously they're missing a couple, you know, running back and receiver. How does that, if at all, change uh, change what you guys do? Um, change what we do. I, I won't necessarily say that, but uh, we we thank God for that blessing because those two guys are really good football players. Number two and number three, they're really good football players for them. And I'm sure you know they'll make their adjustments just like everybody else does. Uh, when you have an injury or a guy's not playing or what have you. But as far as us adjusting any differently, um, yeah, we don't have to be as concerned about those two guys, so we're going to stick with our plan. Stanford Sanders, the third, had a player that you kind of looked like surprising. How does that shuffle the depth chart? Well, a place like Florida State, you're not really surprised about a guy after three years de declaring and things like that. So I uh, wish him nothing but the best. I told him that. And uh, if you need me for anything, you can always call me. As uh, far as changing around what we're going to do, we got some guys. Opportunity. It's an opportunity now for a guy like Isaiah Bolden, for a guy like Akeem Dent, uh, A.J. Litton, those type of guys to step out there and play some corner for us and do a good job. And we believe that they will. Uh, that's a great question, and, and to be totally honest with you, my spirituality is first. Uh, so that's how I do it, you know, with God. Without God, all things are possible, and that's and that's how I'm doing it. And, and so I have peace. Uh, I really do, and I'm excited about the next door that's going to open. To be honest with you, and that's what I'm telling everybody. And uh, hopefully, you can feel that from me because I really am excited about it. Uh, the next door. This was a door that was open for me. Now it's closed. Move on to the next, and I'm excited about what that's going to be. Not sure what it's going to be yet, but I'll know soon. What's the scouting report on Arizona State's offense? Uh, quarterback is good, man. For a freshman, true freshman, he's a he very poised, um, um, understands their offense, does a good job of running their offense. They believe in what their system tells them to do. And uh, they got deep threat in 84 at wide receiver. Um, number 10 is another good receiver for them. Uh, they're a good team. Offensive line works well together. Um, so we got to go in there prepared. Our guys know this, and, uh, and we'll be ready to go. We'll be ready to go. Hopefully we'll play the best game uh, of the year, our best game of the year. Um, you know, some people ask, well, what, do you do you re regret coming down to Florida State from Michigan State and stuff like that? Not at all. Not at all, because I know I was led down here. And again, like I said, I'm a spiritual person, so I know I know for a fact uh, that I was supposed to be down here for these two years. Uh, didn't work out my way that I thought it was going to work out. thought we'd be preparing for a national championship and things like that. But, hey, things are, are they, they all work together for good, as we know, as I know. And so uh, what, what I've learned from it is that you got to really, really be focused in on the situations that you're going into, even though I know I'm supposed to be here, but really lock in on, uh, on all the situations, what is all, what's really going on down there. You know, who are the people that you're going to be dealing with, uh, coaches, players, everybody. And, uh, and that's what I've learned from it more than anything, just really, really looking at the situation totally before you actually go all the way in and jump in. They've been great, believe it or not, man. They've been great. Uh, like everything is normal, but even though they know it's not truly normal, but they've responded to us extremely well. Um, they're going out there working hard. Um, and I, with, I wish them nothing but the best. The reason why I'm even in this is because of the players. And, I, and I, that's what I truly believe. And so I'm giving them everything I got. Uh, I told them that, and they know that all the way to the very end. And that's why I'm in the business. And when you do it that way and not because of any other 
then you, you, you're going to be all right. And, uh, and, and they're going to come out and play well for us on, on Tuesday. I truly believe that. Well, first, I answer the last question first. It's always good to have him around because he's very encouraging. He's very positive, and he obviously he was a good football player for us. Um, and we miss him, obviously. We miss him big time because he's a really good football player. But um, the, the, the young guys, again, opportunity. You got an opportunity that comes up for you. When a guy is, is down and not able to play, now you got to step up. And, uh, and our guys have you know, shown that they can step up a little bit. And we're going to get some more guys, some opportunities this coming game uh, because of that, you know, that situation. And uh, hey, take, make, make it, take advantage of it. Take advantage of it. And uh, I always tell the story. When I first started playing, you know, when they put, the coach put me out there, that was it. I played. And I, and, I, and I proved that I needed to be out there. So when your chance comes, your opportunity comes, go take advantage of it and, and show that you're supposed to be out there. Corey Jordan, the guy you think you'll have available on Tuesday? I think so. Yes, sir. Anything else for Coach Barnett? All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, guys. Thank you.